Hello there. We're group A team. Sorry we don't have anything more creative for you today. From Eeks 203 at the University of Michigan. Uh, our names are Jay, James, Chris, and Chris. That's where that Chris times two comes from. Uh, so today we're here to talk to you about functions, specifically um, injections, surjections, and bijections. So to start it off, I thought, you know, we should probably go into what a function is a little bit. You know, just a little reminder, if not anything. So a function is basically the domain A mapping to the codomain B. Put these little squigglies on here to be, you know, fancy. So say the domain A contains x, y, and z, and the domain B contains, let's just say, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 all integers, all positive integers. So we'll just put that up here, z plus, all positive integers. Um, for this to be a function, f of any... Um, element in set A must map to a different uh, element in set B. So this could be, or actually not a different element, an element in set B. So this could be a function. A of x is 1, y of, or A of x is 1, A of y is 1, and A of z is 1. Perfectly okay, that is a function. The really big thing that makes it not a function would be if x corresponded to two different values. So this in red for not, red equals not a function, um, would not be a function. x is 1, x is 3, y is 2, and z is 3. The reason that this isn't a function really is because x maps to two different values in b. This is the big you know, key that it's not a function. Um, as for the x and y values, as long, they can both correspond to the same value as you see in, in uh, example 1 in the blue, but also we'll put in black, sorry if this gets a little confusing, that they could all you know, correspond to different things. As long as one value, x, y, or z, does not correspond to two different values in the set b, it is a function. So a little bit more in depth with these functions, we have injection, which is also known as one-to-one. -one. The definition is very complicated here, so pay attention. Function f is said to be one-to-one -one if and only if f of a equals f of b implies a equals b for all a and b in the domain of f. Now that's pretty complicated. You can pause it and read it. That's why we have it here for you. But a little bit more simple in English, we say for each a used in f of a, where a are, is an element of a domain, has one distinct f of b. A great example of this is social security numbers. So if set a is the set of all people in the United States, and set B is all possible, possible I say, social security numbers, then A, you know, the set A, each person has a social security number, so each A c corresponds to a, a element B, a separate element B, a unique element B, but it does not correspond to every single element in B. A mapping of this, just to help you know, people get it through their head a little better, looks something like this. Again, you see that each element in set A, we'll name this set A again, just to make it a little bit easier, corresponds to a specific element in set B, but not necessarily every element in set B. That's key. So our next type is surjection, which is also known as onto. Another very complicated definition of surjection is a function f from a to b is onto if and only if for every element b, little b, in big b, set b. Make sure that p 
people know that this is a set. This is a set. Okay. So from function set A to set B is onto if and only if for every element B in set B, there is an element A in set A with f of A equals B. Again, very complicated, so we break it down in English for you. Every element B in set B, again, this is a set right here, set B, has an A in f of A that is equal to B. So we have a couple real world examples again for you to help you, you know, understand a little bit more. The first one is a person to biological mother. So we can say that set A is a person. Sorry. Um, basically, we can say that because every mother or every person has a mother, but two people can have the same mother, this is an example of surjection. Now, person to gender. Every separate person has a gender, so it corresponds to a gender, but two people can have the same gender. Now let me take it to the next page really quick and map it out, and I can even explain those examples a little bit further. So, a mapping of this looks something like this. So again, let's just break this down with the mother example. So say that this, these are the set of all people. And these are the set of all mothers. Every person has a mother. Right? Every person has to have a mother. So this, every set here, or every... Um, element in the set of people corresponds to an element in the set of mothers. But, as you can see with these two, F and A, have the same mother X. This is key, a key um, thing about onto functions. So again, A and F are different people in the set of people, but they have the same mother. Now for a bijection, um, we can basically say that this is a one-to-one -one correspondence. A good definition, this is an actual really concrete definition, um, function f is both one-to-one -one and onto. That's it. So basically you need both of the properties that we described earlier to make it a, um, a bijection. An example of this is a set of baseball players on the field to players in the batting order. So basically, we're going to, let's just say we're in the National League here in the pitcher bats. So every single person on the field, all nine players on the field, is in the batting order. So the pitcher, say he bats ninth, corresponds to the, the order, or to the position in the batting order nine. No other player on the field, not the shortstop, not the outfielders, not the catcher, bats ninth. That's a good example. So, a good mapping of this, again, these mappings are very important, looks something like this. You can see that every specific, we'll say, player spot. Every, every specific player corresponds to a different spot in the order, and every spot in the order is, um, has a player assigned to it. So basically, a bijection can also be thought of as a function that, can ha or that has an inverse. This is what we have for you. Thanks for listening, and uh, you can get more on inverse functions from another team. Oh, also, we'll leave this up to end. This is the proofs. Um, you know, Pause it here if you want to look at it. Uh, very important, very complicated, take a whirl at it.